Hello everybody, this is Jeff Janess, and welcome to our ninth lab exercise, introducing us to ArcGIS Pro. Now in this lab exercise, we're going to look at some of ArcGIS Pro's searching functions. we got some tools that will let us find features just by their name and a spatial data set. We'll be able to find the locations of street addresses just by typing that address into a box, or we can just find the location of a pair of spatial coordinates. So let's start. First thing, we're going to insert a brand new map. Then we're going to add the data set Streets Carto from our class data. Hit our Add Data button. It's in the Class GIS Data folder in Flagstaff Roads in the folder called Data and inside this Geo Database. Double click on that. It takes us here. We're going to pick Streets Carto and hit OK. All right. These are the streets in and around Flagstaff. So the first thing we're going to try is to find the streets that have the name McConnell in the name. Now, the School of Forestry is right next to McConnell Drive, and so this will be a way that we can find our building. So we go to the Map tab, then we hit the Locate function, and then this brings up the Locate tool. There's two ways we can do it. This first one searches for addresses. The second one, Layer Search, lets us search the Streets Cardo layer itself. That's one we're going to try right now. So we want to set it up so that we're searching in all layers, even though there's only one over there. We're going to search amongst all features, not just the visible ones or things that are within a particular extent. We're going to search for features where McConnell can be any part of it. So the street doesn't have to be named exactly McConnell. It can just have it somewhere inside of it. All right, so that's set up correctly. Click up here, and we just type McConnell two N's, two L's, hit enter. And there looks like there's five of them that it found. All right, let's go look at them. We can right click on one and go to zoom to, and it'll take us right to it. We can right click on another one and go zoom to, and again, it takes us right to it. We can select them all. If we click the top one, then hold the shift key down and click the bottom one, it'll select everything in between. You saw it flash. We can right click on the group somewhere, go to Add to Selection. This will select all those roads. And then we can right click and go to Zoom to, and it will zoom to the whole set. All right, so this is the full length of McConnell Drive. All right, and that's, that's all there is to it. So I was able to find all the streets that had McConnell pretty quickly. OK, so let's try another tool. Instead of searching in layers, let's hit the Locate button. This will let us search for street addresses, and it, it will use the online ArcGIS, what they call a geocoder service. So it doesn't even care about the streets card. All right, let's clear out our selection here, this little X button. All right. Now, we're going to type in the address of the School of Forestry, and that is 200 East Pine Knoll Drive, Flagstaff, Arizona. So we're just going to select that. Type it in there, hit OK. And this A right here is the most likely spot that it found. It had a score of 100. It did find another thing down here. And you can scroll down, it'll find even more. But the first one with the score of 100 is correct. And this is the School of Forestry right here. So it found this intersection right here. If you like, you can type in any address you want in here. Maybe you type in your own home address and see if ArcGIS can find it. It's kind of fun to try sometimes. All right, now let's take a look at the last tool we're going to look at in this lab exercise. It's this go to xy command. So let me just get rid of the locate function here. Go to xy is in the map tab, and here it is. You just click it, and it turns on this little panel down here where you can enter in coordinates. OK, first step is to make sure that we're in decimal degrees. That's what this one is. So we can just click it and do decimal degrees. We'll go with that. I'm going to just copy the longitude value here, paste it in, copy the latitude value here, and paste it in. And then I'm just going to hit Enter, and it'll take me, it'll center the map at those coordinates. Now I want to add a little marker here that shows where those coordinates are. And this tool comes with some options here. This little drop-down box gives you a few choices. We're going to use this last one, which is Mark Location with a Callout. So I click on it, and then it adds those coordinates up here with a little arrow pointing to where that point is. 
Now, this thing is what we call a graphic in the map. And when we did that, it actually created a layer called the graphics layer. The, that, this thing you see here is stored in this right here. Now, we can play with this a little. We can select the layer. When the layer is selected, then we get a new item up here, a couple of new tabs up here. So I'm going to hit the graphics tab. Then there's this option called select. This lets me select that graphic here and move it around. Now, it's kind of interesting because it's a call out, meaning that it's anchored to this point. But I can click this and move it. And as I move it, the anchor stays connected. The graphic can go anywhere you put it, but the anchor always goes back to the source there. All right, when you're done with it, uh, you just select the graphics you want to get rid of and just hit the delete key and it goes away. All right, everybody, thanks so much. That should do it. You take care.